Hi everyone, so we're back on to pure stuff, we've got numerical methods. Uh, so let's have a look at this. The idea behind this is that not every equation you get, you can find the roots by the methods that you've got. So let's have a look then. So it says here, uh, so there we go, many equations can't be solved. And we'd use trial improvement, um, but we, you know, that's a bit of stuff, that. there's better ways of doing it. So it says, draw the graph of y equals x cubed plus minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 4. Right, so I'm actually going to show you something on the calculator. So give me a second while I bring up the calculator. There's a table function, it's on your normal one as well, to be fair. But if you go, if you find table, so it's only one from GCSE. If you put the equation in, oh, let me get rid of them. It's not going to work. Here we go, F2, F1. Oh, come on. There. And then F2, F1. Right, so we've got, let's put the equation in. So it's x cubed, so x power 3, press to the right, minus 3x squared, plus 3x, minus 4. So into the equation, if I do F5 for set, now this table starts at 0, it goes up to 3, and the x value jumps up in 1s, so the step is 1 is 5. There, and then just press x again, and it will give me the values. So I've got minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, and 5. So then it says, so it says draw the graph. So when x is 0, it's minus 4. When x is 1, it's minus 3. When x is 2, it's minus 2. When x is 3, it's 5. So I've got to try and fit that graph through there somehow. There. And you can tell that there's a root somewhere between 2 and 3. So we know there's a root between 2 and 3. Because f of 2 is less than 0, and f of 3 is greater than 0. So I have a sign change. So because I've got a sign change, I can have a root there. I might have more than one root. What's important as well is that it's a continuous graph. There are no asymptotes in there. So I like a tan graph or something like that. So it says it's continuous. Uh, if, you can take, if you can take your pen off the paper, it isn't. So this one here has an asymptote, so that's discontinuous. So we want it to be a continuous graph. There's more to it than that, to be fair. <coughs> so it says a for functions continuous and there's a change in sign, then it'll be there'll be a root in there. So if you look at that one, f of a is less than zero, whereas f of b is greater than zero. It's continuous, so there's a root in the interval a to b. I don't tend to use that notation, I just tend to use um, the inequalities. And the same for this one for a, so f of a is greater than zero, f of b is less than zero, the graph is continuous, so there's a root there. there. So be careful though, because if you zoomed out, you might have more than one root, you might have two roots. Right, so let's keep going and we'll do this lesson. So it says rearrange it into f of x is zero. Because what it might be is you might have to wear two lines across it, so you put them equal to each other and rearrange it. So this is where you see where e to the x, which would look like, so e to the x is like that, and 3 minus 2x, which looks like that. So you're looking where they cross. So I'll rearrange it. It doesn't matter which side I rearrange it to. So I'm going to take everything over to the left. But it doesn't really matter. It'll just change the sign in the answer. Right, so my f of x for this is e to the x minus 3 plus 2x. I want to show the roots between 0.5 and 0.6. So if I do 
f of 0 0.5. So it's e to 0 0.5 minus 3, lots of 0 0.4, oh, no, it's not. It's just minus 3. Plus 2, lots of 0 0.5. It gives me, what does it give me? According to this, minus 0 0.351. And if I try f of 0 0.6, it's e to the 0 0.6 minus 3 plus 2 lots of 0 0.6, which apparently gives me 0 0.0221. Now there's a sign change there. AQA are a little bit picky. We want you to say that that's less than 0. So I'd say that's greater than 0. So what I've got here is a sign change. And the graph is continuous. So therefore, there's a root in that interval. I use that notation just so you see it more. So we've got another example in one six minutes here, aren't I? Just going to do the... Yeah. There. So it says, so by choosing a suitable interval, show that f of x has a root there. So I might... I could choose all sorts, really. But I'm going to be, <laughs> oh, it wants upper and lower bounds. So that's what rounds to, to 2, 5, 7, 6. So I've got to go below. So 0 0.25755 and above the 0 0.25765. So them are the, the bounds of it. I've never seen that come up on things, but you never know. Um, so I've got the, the equation there. So if I do f of 0 0.25755, it gives me, according to the completed part, minus 3.79 times 10 to the minus 4. And if I do f of, where is it? So that's my equation, by the way. 0 0.25765, it gives me 1.09 times 10 to the minus 4. To be fair, if I have that root there, I do 0 and 0 0.5. That's what I do. But because it says that upper and lower bounds, what correctly rounds to four decimal places, I'll go from that. So anyway, what have I got here then? So I've got a less than 0, I've got a greater than 0, so I've got a sign change. And the graph is continuous, so if you graph it, there'll be no asymptotes continuous. Therefore, the root, yeah, we'll go with that. Really, the root lies within that um, five, there, within that interval. So there's a question for you today. Move that box. There, so there's one for you today. And we've got a third example as well. So the third example, which I've lost, I've lost my, um, lost my colours on my smartic. I think things are going to be resetting slowly because we had like a power cut today. So it says f of x is 1 over x minus 2. So show there's a sign across the interval. Right, so let's have a look. So what's f of 1 then? It's telling me the interval 1 to 3. So f of 1 will be 1 over 1 minus 2. So that's going to be minus 1. f of 3 will be 1 over 3 minus 2. So that would be 1. So for all intensive purposes, that's less than 0. That's greater than zero. I've got a sign change. And off I go. But here's the problem. 1 over x minus 2 is the 1 over x graph with an asymptote of 2. So it looks like that. Now I'm trying to show that there's a root between 1 and 3. When if you look, there is no root between 1 and 3. So you look from here, from 1 to there, there is no root. So it's kind of caused us like an issue here. The asymptote falls within the boundary. So because 